Well, this week, it's part one of our interview with Georgia's newly elected commissioner of agriculture, Tyler Harper. An interview set on the picturesque Harper family farm in Irwin County. An interview that dives deep into how Commissioner Harper has spent much of his life cultivating his love of agriculture and politics. I, Tyler Harper, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute that I will faithfully execute the Office of Commissioner of Agriculture. The Office of Commissioner of Agriculture. Of the State of Georgia. Of the State of Georgia. Well, Commissioner, first off, thanks for having us down to your uh, humble abode down here, beautiful Osceola, Georgia. Um, let's, let's take the commissioner hat off for a little second here. Um, let's talk about Tyler Harper, the person. And I don't want to throw you under the bus or divulge your age, but 36 years old. And the reason why I bring that up is because in such a short amount of time, you have done so much. State Senator, now Commissioner of Agriculture. What made you want to dive into the political arena in the first place? Well, uh, first off, Ray, good to have you on the family farm. Good to be here. Welcome to South Georgia. Mm -hmm. I know you've been in South Georgia many a time. <laughs> a lot of times. Welcome to Irwin County. Welcome to Osceola. Welcome to our family farm. Appreciate it. You know, it all started right here, right? So I grew up here on this farm. And, uh, you know, my passion for agriculture was embedded in me really early, right here on this, this dirt road. And uh, give, us, give me the opportunity, agriculture has given me the opportunity to do a lot of things. And I have been uh, very successful and have been very blessed in my life up to this point. And a lot of that has to do with agriculture. Really all of that has to do with agriculture. It's what I am, who I am, and what I'm about. And, and, uh, and because of agriculture, I've been able to be successful and uh, through my, through ABAC and the University of Georgia and then opportunities to go to DC and work for US Senator Saxby Chambliss and right. worked on Commissioner Gary Black's uh, uh, ag campaign many years ago as a volunteer. And uh, those all got me interested and sparked my interest in getting involved in in the political world and uh, you know a few years ago an opportunity presented itself to run for the state senate and mm -hmm. I did that and uh, jumped in with both feet and, and ran for the senate and um, and I wouldn't have done that obviously if I didn't have an interest in, in serving and and uh, I got uh, I got that interest from from working for Senator Chambliss when I was in D.C. through that congressional fellowship at the University of Georgia and uh, and through other folks that encouraged me along the way um, to uh, to get involved. And I ran for the state senate at 25 and was elected at 26 and uh, and served there for 10 years. That's absolutely um, amazing. It really is. And, and, and you know, Commissioner, you look at um, you know you look at where you came from, farmland, your interest in politics. Safe to say this is your dream job? It's probably safe to say that. Well, the thing is, is it intersects things that I have a passion about, right? And, uh, and I could tell you a longer story, which we don't have time for that um, and really dive off into that, that how I got to where I am. But, um, but it intersects agriculture and, and service, agriculture and policy, agriculture and politics. That's what the commissioner of ag's role really intersects for me and and you're right I mean it, it uh, my entire life has been built up in in my mind to this moment where I am now serving as the 17th Commissioner of Agriculture for the state and it's been a remarkable opportunity to be able to uh, to put my passions to work for the people of this state and for our ag community all across the state I got to be honest one of the things that really impressed me the most about you was the GFB convention in December yep you got up there you addressed the attendees, you brought the heat, you brought the passion. But just like crops don't pick themselves and just like cattle don't take themselves to market, we've got to work every day to water that crop. We've got to work every day to feed that livestock. We've got to work every day to do that for Georgia agriculture. Where does that passion come from? Uh, well, it, it, honestly, it comes from right here. Um, you know, if it wasn't for agriculture, our state would not be where it is today. Um, it comes from my parents, it comes from my family, it comes from um, growing up on this family farm, growing up in, in the church that's five miles down the road from here. Uh, it comes from the background I learned here in my home county of Irwin County 
right here. We're in Lax, Georgia, where we are right here. Uh, Osceola, you know, is, 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 is my hometown, but that's where that passion comes from. It, it was embedded in me as a little boy. Right on this dirt road. Uh, right on this dirt road. Playing like with I your tractors earlier, right here, right? Playing with my toy tractors. <laughs> this was my farm as a little boy, you know, and that, and that was where I started uh, uh, understanding and realizing the passion that I have for this industry. And it was embedded in me, like I said earlier, by my family and my grandparents and others. And and because uh, as a seventh generation involved in this industry uh, you know it's been passed down from one generation to the next and it was passed down to me and and as I grew old, older obviously and got into the political arena and got involved in in, uh, in politics especially serving in the Senate that passion grew even more mm -hmm. uh, because I saw the importance of being involved in the in the policy making process in the political arena and why it's important for us to ensure that the folks who have the pencil uh, understand and know the issues that impact our agricultural, uh, our agricultural industry and our farmers and producers every single day. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I talked about it, uh, that at the convention. That was right. one of the things I talked about. And um, and the 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 more I have been involved, the more I understand the need for us to be involved. Which I'm I'm glad Farm Bureau does that every single day. They do a phenomenal job of ensuring that policymakers know the issues that those of us in the ag industry are facing every day.